Hey guys, uh, this is Black and Seven here, and today I'll be discussing uh, brand new uh, Pokemon for uh, our Pokemon Draft League analysis series. So, as you pretty much noticed on this, like, one of your uh, screens, we are this time covering Victini, so Psychic Fire type mythical Pokemon. So yeah, um, this will be based off of Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, so like not from like Horat, so. Um, Given that Bikini did get a fair amount of uh, usage in uh, RS Draft League, so um, and regarding uh, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, we'll see how it fares. So, so we'll just start off with the basics regarding Bikini. So, um, in terms of typing, it is a psychic fire type. So, we know most people know what it is. What is Bikini for its uh, fire type qualities and its psychic type typing, but um, since it doesn't have access to like some kind of recovery moves or whatever, but like, okay, let me just get to that very soon. But, um, regarding uh, its resistances, weaknesses, and whatnot, it's like, um, like fighting, it has like uh, good resistances to some of the more common uh, moves in the format and like in the game. And fighting, uh, steel, fire, grass, psychic, and ice, and fairy. So notably, fighting and fairy, fire. So you you can pretty much switch into these types if you want to. So. Uh, then maybe like take advantage of them with your offensive moves. But uh, then uh, for weaknesses, you are definitely Bikini does have a fair share of weaknesses with its uh, seven weaknesses with uh, brown, rock, ghost, water, and dark. So um, in terms of like like common weaknesses, this is like like the fact that it's weak to like rock is really bad in the sense that it it's gonna be get gonna get chipped by a uh, stealth rock by like 25% almost every time so then ground doesn't help it to reach the ground and the uh, uh, ghost and dark especially dark which we'll get we'll talk about later during this video so yeah um overall its typing is somewhat above average I would say so for BST since this is a mythical Pokemon uh, pixie as we like to call it um yes base 100 across 100 uh, stats across the board, so nothing too like major or too like I think that stands out, but certainly like with 100 uh, defenses across the board, it's really nice to have. It's very few uh, psychic or fire type Pokemon have that type of bulk, except for maybe Mew, but that's for a psychic. That's another psychic type and maybe Jirachi. But those are like mons we'll cover for another day. So um, for offensive stats, like 100, base 100 again, like. Not as good, but having it with 100 across the board is okay, so especially with speed. So it's somewhat in the middle of the pack. Base 100 speed would have been nice, like back in the but with the uh, Ultra Zone Ultra Move, with the with an increasing amount of the Pokemon being now faster than like the Mctini, it's pretty much uh, hampered its uh, viability slightly. So um, for uh, its ability, um. It has uh, access to uh, Victory Star, which raises the accuracy of the Pokemon and its ally by 10%, so you can raise the accuracy of either Victini or its ally if you're in a dull battle league, or a dull battle in general, so by 10% or like, let's say like Focus Blast, you increase from 70, you go to like 77% or like, uh, let's say, uh, Bolt Strike, spoilers of one of the moves, um, it goes from like 85 to like, a5 run, rounding down so so yeah well, big question here is why draft bikini so it's pretty much one of the best fire types and overall wall breakers in draft league um it's really fun to use a fun pokemon to use with this uh, natural coverage options it has a wider range of options if from like fire from snowball fire electric psychic grass uh, even ice and uh, fairy type of moves like really help it like distinguish itself as one of the one of the more harder Pokemon to switch into. So it's, with this type of coverage, it's exceptionally hard to hit through. So. And with the base 100 stats across the board, it's just going to help it with its offensive stats. It's, it's not like and especially the fact that it has access to some of the part, most powerful like fire type stab in the game in Recreate and Blue Player. So Recreate is a base. Uh, 180 uh, fire type move, which pretty much um, it's 270 if I after stab. So with victory, it is for some reason it's like accuracy is like 95, but with 
victory star makes it 100 percent so you don't have to worry about that so then with a blue flare okay with blue flare it's basically like overheat except with the beast power with 130 the only exception is you don't suffer the the uh special attack drop and you can have a chance a 20 percent chance to burn which is almost as almost the same chance as skull there's also a searing shot which is basically skull but with less power points like really less with like eight so normally you're gonna run blue flare just for the power because base 130 uh 130 like special attack for uh no, not special attack but like base 130 power for a blue flare is significantly more stronger than like 100 from like uh you know uh tearing shot so but big create let's talk about that move again uh big create is so fucking strong with like base uh 180. But the, there is a drawback to this, though. So the fact that you do lower your uh, your offensive stats, which pretty much makes Victini very susceptible to like being revenge killed. Now, and I think with but given how like the formats are like, but the game has now been more like like there's now like an increased amount of Pokemon that are just faster overall. They could just out like outspeed like Victini or even like uh, outright right wallet. It's just like it's not gonna help it that much, so yeah. But it is very difficult to switch into, like, take a hit, like trying to figure out, oh, what that, what offensive set this uh, guy is. So, and you have to like kind of scout it out properly before, like, you can just assess it before you have like the, you can, you can like assess it. So, and for in terms of like when you do usually select big TD, like it used to be like around first round pick, but so noticeably like it has dropped in usage a bit. But it's usually picked around the first or third round. It's still a good Pokemon in general, but like again, like Fire Psychic typing is somewhat of a mixed bag. It has great it has great resistances, but also some severe weaknesses as well in terms of like uh, being weak to rocks, being weak to dark, which means it's very with those defenses, you're gonna be weak to those moves even more. So if you're running big grid, so that is so. Um, in terms of popular moves, you're typically gonna run like you're gonna see these uh, moves more often than not. So like B grade, Bolt Strike, which is another. Uh, by the way, these are like Bolt Strike. Uh, it also has access to Fusion Flare and Fusion Bolt, which are like base 100 uh, power moves. These are moves exclusive to uh, Zekrom and Rashiram. But the thing is, like the reason why you run Bolt Strike and Blue Flare is that. They're more accurate, not that more accurate, but like, they're more powerful, like 30, 30 base points, 30 base points, like more, more powerful in terms of like the move itself. It's just that you have like a drop in accuracy, but it's like, it's like 93% accurate, which is, you're just going to hit most, you're going to, chances are you're going to hit the eight most of the time, so you don't have to worry about that, so yeah. Um, so yeah, Bolt Strike is really nice coverage for like, uh, electric type mods, so, but if you like to want, if, you really want to hit your targets, you can try Fusion Bolt. As well as uh, Fusion Flare for Blue Flare. But, but then again, you'd rather run Searing Shot, so yeah. Uh, you have a U turn. Pretty much pivot out, in and out, since you might drop your uh, defenses if you create. You have Psychic, you have Psy Shock, Sand Headbutt for Psychic coverage. Brick Break just to hit, like uh, Dark Types. Thunderbolt for Electric coverage, Special Electric coverage. Dazzling Gleam for special electric coverage, and even Energy Ball, Grass Nod, Solar Team. So. Then you have uh, other viable options. You have uh, Glaciate, which is a nice type, it's basically Ice type Icy Wind, which is really interesting because very few Pokemon, I think very few fire types, I think Bikini is like one of the few fire types that actually learns a, a nice move that's not HP Ice, that's attacking, so that's kind of cool. So Then you have Searing Shot, which is basically Skull, but less, far less PP. Then you have Focus Blast to hit Darks. Then Final Gambit, which is kind of cool to run, so just to sacrifice yourself, Trick, Sub, Taunt, pretty much work up, Sunny Day, and Trick Room are all pretty much set up mid, so yeah. Um, in terms of uh, um, item choices, you generally want to have... Victini is very offensive, so you generally want to have an item that's like, that tailors its offensive mode, so yeah. Um, for Z crystals, I think Victini is probably like one of the best, better uh, Z cap, Z captains or Z move users in the format since it has access to a wide array of uh, 
of types to use, mostly from the special side. So you can run like for Fire MZ, you can run ZV Create if you, which is only a little bit stronger by 20 points, but at the cost of gold. Well, the trade back is that you don't suffer the same uh, the speed drop, so speed and defense drop. So yeah, and yeah, Blue Flare, Dairy Shot, and Sun Dip want to increase your speed there. Then Grass MC for like Energy Ball, Grass Down, Solar Beam. Usually Solar Beam because you want to have powerful Grass MC Solar Beam. But Energy Ball and Grass Down just for immediate Grass coverage. Then you have the Psyche MZ, which if you want to boost your Psychic type moves and the Bolt Strike. Electric MZ, so like you want to nip down like an Electric or Flying type, so yeah. With Bolt Strike, Thunder or Thunder Bolt, so. Choice items, Rikki is very like notable for using these items as well, but far bad specs. Like, so at the cost of like, even like uh, Assault Vest, so as we'll see from the set, so yeah. And then offensive items, sometimes you like to run like, say, Life Orb, Expert Build, Flame Orb, well not Flame Orb, but Flame Plate, uh, Twisted Spoons, and Metronome. Like, some of these either boost the power of its moves, or just like, other select moves and whatnot, so yeah. And yeah, super effective, reducing berries like uh, Four Berry, Sugar Berry, Pasho, Charty, and Twisted Berry. Just help it in general, just to reduce the damage from uh, either, um, um, let's say, Dark, I'm trying to remember from memory, so Dark, Rock, Ground, Ghost, and Water moves, so yeah. Then for other notable items, you might see lefties and 50% berries. Or like Beyond Berries, like a Papa, a Go, just to like uh, um, give it some reform of recovery since Victini has no reform of recovery. Unless there's a Z move I'm forgetting about, so. You could also try Air Balloon if you want to avoid being hit by a ground move temporarily until you get hit, so. Uh, lastly, uh, Weakness Fall is really nice if, in case you want to trigger your. trigger it with, yeah, you like someone like attacking you from a super effective side. And white herb in case you don't want to suffer from the speed drops. So yeah. Um, for our first two move sets, we have the bandit spec sets, which pretty much are self-explanatory. Like choice band, B create just hits like a truck. So I don't even know why I had to explain that one. So yeah. Uh, pretty much two wood kills or O kills, anything that's not named uh, any flash fire mod. So yeah. Uh, you also have a uh, U-turn just to pivot out of a bad situation. Also, trick is in case you want to trick your item. This is like trick could also be useful with any other uh, choice item as well, except for uh, AV because you can't even use AV with trick. So yeah, you have bolt strike just to nuke down opposing fire types. <laughs> Zen headbutt just to like and break break for just for coverage in general. So yeah. Now specs has more liberty because it doesn't suffer from the. Uh, Defense or speed drops, in my opinion. So, with specs, you're running like blue flare most of the time, and it just increases in power. And you have a wide array of coverage options with Thunderbolt, Energy Ball, like Glaciated, Dazzling Beam, with well, even like psychic coverage. Like, hell, you might not even run psychic coverage if the match is, is needed. So, it's pretty much like pick your poison, which are like, uh, with your with this sets uh, with these sets, uh, mostly that are like base, that, are, that are specially based. And so uh, Victini does have a wider special move pool than uh, its physical one. So yeah. For its, uh, the second set is Choice Scarf. There's like two variants, but this physical Victini and the special Victini. So um, pretty much the same thing as the other sets. The only difference is that for the Choice Scarf sets, I added two for this, for physical like I added Flare Blitz in case like. You want to continuously use uh, a strong fire type stat while not lo lowering your own speed, so there's that. Then you also have Final Gambit, which you could increase your HP up to like, uh, for let's say a level 100, like 404 uh, HP, so that you can knock out anything below, like at or below 100 HP mod. So let's say like you want to get rid of Zapdos, that's like very troublesome for your team, so go for Final Gambit. First guard for Final Gambit, and they'll be gone, so yeah. <laughs> you might want to consider maxing out the HP just to guarantee that, so yeah. Um, for special, it's pretty much the same. Um, so you want to have more, 
like better coverage now since uh, most setup options are somewhat weak to fairy, ice, or fire, or thunderbolt. So um, I don't know if there's like any uh, fast, like bulky. Uh, well, I think there are fast with water types, but normally they can like take these uh, the special like dark bikini very well. So yeah, but um, like the coverage here is really nice. I think blue fire, electric grass, and uh, ice or fairy coverage fits pretty much everything. Uh, for most, uh, like for neutral coverage, bar some mods, I think like except for real time, I believe. I forgot the other one, but yeah. But yeah, like Dazzling Beam for uh, Dark Dragon, uh, Fighting type Pokemon, Energy Ball for uh, or Grass Knot. If you want to run that for like Water, Rock, or Ground types. Pretty much hits it's, uh, most of its weaknesses for Super Effective. And Thunderbolt basically for both being coverage, so yeah. Again, you could really much customize your uh, the bikini set however you feel, so yeah. Um, and this one's pretty much the same thing. Like, uh, this is a physical mix and special mix, so you can really customize however the EV spreads you want, like whether you want a physical bikini or a special bikini. This is more so like trying to lure out a team, trying to lure out any target that like thinks, okay, this is a physical bikini or this is a special bikini. Oh, for like a physical bikini, you switch in like an area swamp bird and oh shit, there's a, you get hit by an energy ball, so you die, so. For special, you just switch into like something like um, that's very, uh, let's say, you switch into something like, let's say, a Psychic, and you switch in your Sylveon, and then, oh, it has a speed create, and just, Sylveon gets two shots, so it did, so. Um, with these sets, um, you could try and, like, I mean, I mentioned by any Z Crystals here, is that you can pretty much, like, uh, run whatever Z Crystal you feel is very necessary for your team. That's pretty nice, in general, since, like, V create just is already a strong uh, uh, Z move in general with like base plus 200, as well as all these other ones as well like Bolt Strike and uh, Energy Ball, Glaciate, Dazzling Gleam. Like these are very good options to just surprise your opponent from like uh, or just lower out a certain target that you think or you want to just take out for a matchup. So yeah. Now you could also run Life Orb just to boost the power. Well, I do recommend having like an HP nature, or not HP nature, but like an HP like number that just lowers the damage, or having some form of fire just to recover bikinis since it's gonna get worn down. So yeah, um, like I said, like damn, I just forgot. Um, damn. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to keep going. So, so moving on. Um. <laughs> For, st for the fourth set, I have more so like of a Starbreaker or AP sets now. Starbreaker set you see here is more inclined of like the Starbreaker bikini you've probably seen in XY uh, and uh, Gen 6 XY before or as. So this set's pretty much set is meant to, to counter or take on mods like Mega Heracross, Mega Cham, and Mega Gardevoir. Pretty much a rip from that. Just changes the speed just to like. I'll pay space 70s and just take some hits from Mega to make a meta chance, so yeah. Um, I really like the set, I just kind of want to feature it, so yeah. Um, since you're pretty much like, since Victini does have access to taunt, you can uh, wear down like Spyrex, like Sylveon down, or Tutelia like, down, or just V create and Wisp, or Wisps are toxic. And fun part about that, those losing those moves is that their accuracy which are notorious for missing, they're actually boosted slightly, so... Uh, Will-O-Wisp by 93% and Toxic to 99, so... It's that 1% chance you make miss Toxic, so yeah. And of course you have Taunt, so that way you, they can't, those mods can't recover, so yeah. Pretty nice to like help you beat against like more defensively oriented teams and just break down, break them down, so... You do have less uh, power points, so just keep that in mind with Bolt Strike and b Crease, so... Um, just keep that in mind, so that way uh, they might try to outstall you out. So yeah. Um, for the uh, second set, listed is the AV victim, which is pretty much a salt vest, and you're pretty much you, this is designed for like if you want to have more immediate special bulk 
But it, like, you, like I know having B trade might sound dumb, but you might need it just to just knock out certain the target or just do general damage in general. So, and then you have a uh, U-turn just to pivot it out, or even grab out in case you're facing something like a a rock ground or roller type. So yeah, bolt strike for waters and flying types and last move is pretty much a fun set. Like whether you want power up punch or flame charge. You could go for another option, like let's say uh, Brick Breaker Zen Headbutt, but I prefer these two moves because you want to have something to boost up as well and just make you threatening, so yeah. Um, the speed of this is also up to be dial, so yeah. Alright, so the fifth example sets we have are a set of options, so for the first option we have is the uh, Z Sunny Day, which pretty much uh, Allows Victini to boost itself in uh, with plus one speed, and you utilize uh, boosted fire type moves like blue flare. So it's mostly specially based. But you can also make it like physical as well. So um, you could also try a uh, sunny day. Then you just, you just use the uh, fire and Z blue flare, which is to nuke something down. So yeah. Then you have solar beam or grass now, depending on whatever you want for uh, just to take advantage of solar beam in the sun or grass knot in the uh, immediate, or energy ball, which is more immediate, so. Lastly, you want to have Psychic or Dazzling, just for coverage, in general, so yeah. Then you have the Chimp Pack Policy, which I like to call. Uh, try to look at the EV spread for one who's sitting here is in like final, GB a final, so. I do apologize for that one, so. Yeah, probably leaves in me. Um, but anyways, uh, this idea is pretty much inspired by him, he's a Chimp Policy to Timmy. So the idea is just to boost up your offensive stats by plus two, while having to use like to rely on your opponent from using one of its uh, weak, uh, preying on one of its uh, weak unit weaknesses in rock, ground, water, ghost, and dark. So that way you boost up, and then you have plus two, plus two, and you just start killing everything. You don't um, for coverage options. You have B create for almost insane damage at plus two. You also have blue flare. Well, you could also use bolt strike, dazzling, grass knot, psychic, whatever, glaciate, so. But you could try this as a last move, like work up just to boost your own attack further and special attack further by plus plus one plus one. So that way um, if your opponent does try to attack you, you'll be at plus three already, so yeah. Then the last set is pretty much uh, um, miscellaneous, so... The last set's basically like, utilizing a uh, substitute, which pretty much, uh, since Victini is Pokemon that is a uh, base 100 HP, like that, you could just max it out so that way the Seismic Toss doesn't break you yourself, and then you just, uh, with lefties, you just gradually recover back some HP, and then just go with power up punches, and then you just max something with V-Create, or Vote Strike, depending on what you want, so yeah. One Victini set if you like. Try that out. Then the other one is the Trick Room set, which might sound very weird, but it, Victini does have access to Trick Room as you notice. And uh, the goal is just to use B Crate's uh, speed drops just to make yourself lower and lower speed so that way you're faster and send that, that under that condition. And uh, you try Bolt Strike or whatever coverage moves you want. Last move, I put Final Gambit just in case with its max HP. And you want to make use of your trick room turns, you might as well just go. And you know you're, you can't knock out that Pokemon, you might as well just go in for the kill, so yeah. And you have Fire Emblem just to abuse me create, so yeah. So, for partners, I did abbreviate this section a little bit, so I do apologize, but I just I felt that this was more better than just me, like, elongating the video more like, than, uh, than usual, so yeah. So, for partners, uh, normally you want to have a fighting type for bikini, right? Some that are fast that I have access to you turn utility, like some like pivot options, or they're just very defensive in general. Like, Lopity, Terrakion, Minshaw, for instance, are very fast that are just, that could just uh, take advantage of a few turns from bikini and just take out those uh, dark and uh, rock type Pokemon that it fears. Buzzwool and Scrafty are examples of more defensive. Uh, uh, fighting types, they can just, you know, wall, whatever, wall those types, well, they can set up, or whatever. So, 
then you have electric type Pokemon since Victini uh, can usually threaten uh, grass types, like, which they appreciate very nicely. So, Pokemon like Tapu Koko, Thunderous, Rotom, like Helisk, and Magneton, even. I'm also featuring mods that are like lower tiered, by the way, so they're really nice to have. And by the way, they do have access to both Switch and U-Turn as well, so they can form like a Voltron core, so. Then you have Grass types, which Victini appreciates since uh, they, Grass types, generally speaking, handle most of these weaknesses in uh, in like rock, ground, water types in general, so. And they're very bulky enough to take on even Ghosts and Dark types as well, so yeah. Like Mega Venusaur, for instance. Very bulky. Tom Bula here has a good, um, uh, well, it's a special mansion, so it also like, like, cuts the damage of Earthquake in half, in half. Though it doesn't cut the damage of other notable ground moves, like, I think the only ones I could think of are Magnus, or Magnitude and Bulldoze, so that's about it, so. Mongus can form a good pivoting core with its regen, so yeah. Rosary can just hatch a stack for it, and is just a good fighting type of hero, so. Then you have some bulky water types, or offensive water types, like Azumarill, Suicune, Milo, Dick, Primarina, and Gastro. Like, Primarina and uh, Azumarill, for instance, will pair exceptionally well with the uh, Bikini since they have, it answers like four of its uh, five weaknesses while being uh, able to threaten, like, opposing minds in their own, so, just with their high uh, attack or special attack, uh, respectively, so. And you, or you just, you could also you have Suicune and Milo or Gastro just to like take hits in general via bulky water, so yeah. And then you have the bottom ones that are like Hazard Setters, Hatter Removals, they go hand in hand because Hazard Setters, you want to have them just in case you need Bikini to get certain kills and often or not, may not, may not, so. With these hazards, like from rocks, spikes, and even toxic spikes. Also, big uh, sneak webs, so I didn't list any of those down, so. Like a rack and like. There's like, even though there's like a few amount of them, so. so. So, generally speaking, you want to have like mods that are just able to set up hazards in general for Bikini, just allow it to wall break and, and yeah, so. Then you have uh, the uh, hazard removals, which have usually defog or rapid spin, and sometimes they have hazards of their own, like rocks. Like Napoleon and Discord here listed. And others are just like have access to defog just to remove hazards between lowly rocks and others that just are all messed up, yeah. So in terms of other partners here, you have fairy types, which Victini appreciates, especially handling the dark types here. Horrible. On the other side, since uh Victini doesn't really appreciate having most of those dark type mods, and they appreciate those fairy types too. Will always appreciate facing them, except for maybe Fisher. So yeah. And then special, and then those dark types, like I listed them here because uh, Victini actually helps them out more because uh, it's since it's a psychic and fire type, it's it's offensively it has the offensive coverage to hit bug, fighting, and. Um, even fairy types, or it resists fairy moves as well, so it can take on these fairy type mods. It looks good, so yeah. Um, these are really good partners to pair with Victini as well. So. Then you have other wall breakers like Kira B, Mega Deanti, Mega Gardevoir, Mega Heracross, and, Vul and Volcanion, even though I listed it as like an example. And you want to have like wall breakers that just help facilitate Victini. Like, they could, like, so that it could just be the one cleaning up while these guys can just wall break. Or even these two, like Bikini and any of those mods, can just wall break together, so yeah. Then you have setup sweepers like uh, Manaphy, Garchomp, Zygarde, Megpigalade, and Togekiss that love to set up against uh, mods that are like already weakened thanks to Bikini. So, then you have pivot mods that have access to uh, U-Turn, Volt Switch, and Party Shot even. Mods like Jirachi, Tangrill, and Jaren Grujet, and Torn with Regenerator, and Landorus, and, and Mega Manetric. Which they have access to intimidate uh U turn bolt switch, which is very nice to lower the attack and switch all those mods, switch out the bikini, just take a hit, so then you have revenge killers and cleaners, since uh bikini is gonna be like weakening down a lot of mods in general, so if it's not gonna kill something, it's gonna leave it very weak, so weak enough for these mods to kill them. Kill them for a bikini, so I already teammates, so yeah. 
for checks and counters, um, for starters, since it is linked to Psychic, Dark Knight Pokemon are pretty much the way to go, because especially their revenge killers like Beavile, Hydreigon, they can take on Victini very well, Brigadile and Lower Muck, Zenroar. But the first three listed there, they have to scout for Dazzling Gleam or uh, Glaciate or one of those moves since um, Dazzling Gleam would just straight out knock out Hydreigon. Glaciate is actually will hurt like most of the while like it's not super effective for most dark type Pokemon, it will lower the speed. So you gotta watch out for that. Since Bikini would then outspeed you. So yeah. Um some of these dark types do have access to pursuit, and we'll talk about that in the next slides. But like so they just like they have access to that move just to like trap it, so I listed down a Cideroar and a Muck. As since they deserve a special mention, since one they have the typing to like beat Bikini, so except for Muck, like okay, I don't know why it doesn't work there, but it has access to pursuit, so there you go. But Incineroar, Incineroar here can practically counter Bikini, except for if it has Focus Blast. So well, I don't know. So then you have Ghost types, which either outspeed Bikini or can just potentially wall it like. Uh, those outspeed it like the Cephalon that's been really newly introduced in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon just outspeeds everything and has a base 151 special attack. So, Victini is not you know appreciate taking a Shadow Ball for this thing, nor is he gonna take it from Gengar or Mimikyu. Mimikyu has also the sky, so it could just Victini can't do anything about it and has to break to the skies before it can do anything. So, a lot of Marowak actually balls Victini for a multi degree, except for its psychic like, character. I have to go for Psychic or Shadow Ball in general, so yeah. And then Kofor Gigas is really annoying because it removes its uh, Lummy ability, so you might actually miss B creates and Bolt Strikes for once, so yeah. Which is kind of funny, except since that can happen. Um, then you have Ground Types. Well, some of these Ground Types can't really switch in. They make your good checks in general, like uh, Landorus, Hippo, Zygarde. Uh, Fly God, and even Mega Camel, which pretty much uh, it can like uh, wall like Victini very well, or like not wall, but like kind of check it offensively, so force it out. So then you have some dark types here listed like Tyranitar, Mega Diancy, Terrakion, um, Mega Arrow, and like Rock. Either these mods outspeed Victini or have the bolt to take it on 1v1, which is just Tyranitar, except if it has like Focus Blast or like. Uh, break, break, so you gotta watch out for that. So, but generally speaking, these rock types are very dangerous in general. So, they could also set up rocks as well, or stealth rocks, so they could just chip Victini down. So, yeah. Then you have water types. Now, most water type Pokemon, it really depends on what Victini's that is. So, whether it has Energy Ball or Bolt Strike, it pretty much depends on it. So, like, if it doesn't have, like, Energy Ball or Grass Nod, then Swampert will be a better check. But if it has, uh, but generally speaking, it's gonna have that option. So. But if it has, uh, Grass Nod and Thunderbolt, maybe, like, Milotic or even Sweet Dreams can just deal with it. However, most offensive water types like Gren, Manaphy, Starmie, and Keldeal can just deal with the King very nicely since they have very fast speed. Manaphy just does have to be very careful since it's speed size of the King, so yeah. And lastly, we have Dark type, I mean, not Dark, um, Dragon type Pokemon. On this section, like, since dragon, some dragon types actually wall Victini very, very well, like Mega Charizard X and Mega Latias, and Dragonite in general, with multi skill, so. Like, these mons can actually just take hits from, like, B creates and just, like, uh, revenge kill it back, so. Mega Latias deserves a special mention, so they could just take anything from Victini, except for, like, maybe a Star Final Gambit, so. Uh, Garchomp can actually outspeed it in general, so it doesn't have to worry about that, so. Dredagon actually could just wall it with its uh, Rocky Helmet rough skin set, so... And Dragonite, well, it will break its multi-scale, you can generally have to, like, run some bulk, just take it on in general, or just have multi-scale up, so... Yeah. Then you have uh, other checks and counters, like some Fire-type Pokémon, I think we've already mentioned some of these, like Charizard X and uh, Alolan Marowak, but Charizard X can actually wall the physical bikini sets very well. Except for the uh, random spec psychic sets, so yeah. Uh, Hidden Power Ground might 
be something to for he trying to watch out for, but generally speaking, it, it can just deal with bikini most of the time. Rotom is that one mod that actually walls most special bikinis, except for like the ones that have psychic like, coverage. But aside that, they're really good mods to have since they also have access to foul play, so they just smack bikini and just do almost a massive chunk to it, like around 60 or so damage, especially if like you have already dropped your speed, so yeah. Then Mega Camera up and Mega. Um. Oh, not Mega Marowak, but Alolan Marowak can actually wall Victini to degree. The only thing they have to worry about are like something like an HP Water or Shadow Ball, respectively. So, and the fact that uh, keep in mind that these rock types might take are going to take like five percent damage if there's rocks up on their side. So, be wary of that. Uh, and then the other section is since Victini is a psychic type Pokemon and it runs a move and often runs a move that just lowers defenses. You might want to consider running a Pursuit Trapper, like Tyranitar, Crocodile, Mega Absol, uh, Olden Muck, and Spiritum, since Spirit, since all these mons here, in general, just completely wall, well not wall, but just beat the thingy down, so yeah. Or like, you have to like, for, for Spiritum and Absol, they have to play Circle Punch Mind Game, so yeah. There are some defensive checks you could consider for Victini, like Snorlax. Pro I think Snorlax is probably the best defensive counter for it, if it's not like some fighting MC set. But overall, with Dickbutt, you should be able to take it on most of the time, so... Cresselia can also deal with the special sets, one of the special sets, like Band, especially for it on here as well. Slowbro can take on both sets, though it has to be very wary of like being repeatedly hit, so... Or switching into these moves. Right, the hail to death, so um, you gotta be wary of that. So then you have revenge killers like Weavile, Katana, Opony, Nelia Go. Like, already other mods that are just fast enough that's like base 101 speed or above, or Scarfers in general that just outspeed Victini or just force it out. Like, Weavile deserves a special mention because it also has access to pursuit, so it could just pursue trap. As well as Duck Shield, since it could just trap Victini in, so yeah. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it, so. So lastly, so the verdict. Um, regarding Victini, all I have to say is that it's pretty much a very threatening wall breaker when it comes to draft league. Still one of the better wall breakers out there. However, given now that with the increased power creep, no just not much move, like its defense drops and speed drops are now becoming more of a factor or a liability since it's going to be making it very weak or easy or weaker to revenge, or not weaker, but easier to like revenge kill with like those sort of recreate drops. So it's so it's probably like best for Bikini just to avoid running V-Trade for a while. Not for a while, but, like for most matchups. Or like depends on the on the situation really, but like since uh you do have base hundred bulk in general, but what's good what's what's good with that if you're just gonna be dropping your defenses at speed. So yeah. But then again, like, very few Pokemon can switch into the likes of V-Create, so... Choice Banded V-Create is still very difficult, or like, or like any of its coverage options listed from a special side is very hard to deal with, so... Um, has a great amount of resistances, but it's just, its weaknesses are just as bad as well, so... Weaknesses to being Pursuit Trapped and, uh, rocks in general just hinder it down, as in... So, if Seal can, like, fulfill many offensive roles and... Even dive into like plus utility sets, but like again, like it really depends on how far you want to go into it. Excuse the team, whether you want to excuse it exclusively for uh, offensive roles like I've listed, or maybe use some of the more defensive like the stall breaker sets or even the AV sets I've featured. Um, those are like sort of like examples as well, so that people have used. Um, lastly, in terms of like like. Even though Big Team might have fallen off a bit, like, it's still good Pokemon to use in League. But it's just that you have to know that people are going to likely prepare for V Create, so they're going to try to take advantage of the defense, special defense, and speed drop as well. So, not to mention its weaknesses to the rocks and Pursuit Trap is just going to make it even more easier to handle with. That said, like, it's. Still a, a very strong offensive threat, which just 
for the massive special attack and move pool. As well as some of the strongest physical moves in the game. So, so I'd say it's a great Pokemon to have to draft. Like, pretty much, it can make. It can be a good fire type in general for your team, or psychic type for your team, so. Um, so yeah. That's gonna conclude this video, or this, uh, for uh, Victini. So, uh, for the next week's video, we're gonna be talking about our first, uh, we're gonna be talking about the first Mega Evolution, or that we're gonna be covering in this series, so, we're gonna look forward to that, so. Alright, so I'm gonna end it off since I've rambled about way too long, and this video's already late as hell, so, I guess, uh, bye.